Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance, where today I am convinced that it is possible to go to the cathedral. I won't, I don't care about no more keys, I just want to get the cathedral thing done, and then I don't have to worry about that, at least with this character anymore and I for one am looking forward to it. We still would have to do cathedral four more times after that to actually be able to progress onwards. Dead eye's pretty good. But at least you know I just wanna uh, I just wanna have this character have gone to cathedral at least once. With the unlock being as good as it is. It is worth it, I promise. But I've just been having some strange difficulties with this character. Now did I I need to not miss my shots. I think I can miss one but if I then miss another one, I lose a bunch of my damage, but and then I have to build it up again. So, preferably, I don't miss ever. Is that's going to be the strategy here? I uh, am recording this immediately after work on a Friday, so it is very possible I'm going to miss things. But I'm just going to do my best today and actually try and aim for once, which is not a playstyle I often go for. I do tend to just shoot a bunch. And it is a fun way to play the game, for sure. And I did have a good feeling about there being a secret room there. But yeah, I, uh, I don't know. This time I'm feeling it. I'm already tinier than usual. My health is already gone by one before I even take any damage from anything, really. Also, at least I can shoot fires and poops and such, so... Even though I'm technically not hitting an enemy, it doesn't count as missing, which is kind of good. And if I can just... Try not to accidentally pick up any more health down pills. We should be okay. I will take the Empress to the Gurglings and I will actually use it immediately for that damage up. Which is pretty significant with Deadeye as well. I only need to shoot the enemies like five times now. And I'd say that's worth it. Eye drops, I don't love them. They are a tears up. But it tears up in a confusing manner that I don't fully understand, and I don't... Judgment. For that reason, I don't love it. Should have kept that judgment for later, probably, but... Fair enough. There's an amnesia pill, which removes my map, so all in all... Yeah, not feeling too good about that floor. <laughs> but either way, good enough to move on. I would like to find some health somewhere along the line. I didn't look very carefully for tinted rocks in particular. And I do find them a little bit harder to see in the burning basement as well, so that doesn't help out much either. Am I shooting two tears? Oh. Huh. I... Hmm. <laughs> Suddenly, I might like eye drops with this specific build, provided that I actually hit my attacks. But if I shoot slowly, I do just shoot two tears at the same time, huh? Huh, that changes things a bit. I never, I guess I just never really understood what re reduces tear delay on your left eye means. But if it means that, because usually if you just hold the attack button, your shots become a little confusing. And it just, it doesn't seem that great. It just makes it a little bit unpredictable. But when you're actually aiming, it's not bad. Fair enough. I did not know. I actually genuinely didn't know. And perhaps... My, com my opinion has completely changed on the item as a result, so a pretty good run so far in, in terms of specifically having that happen, I suppose. But still no real health to speak of. I think I'd rather visit my shop first before opening this random golden chest, even though I am feeling pretty lucky. Yeah, yeah pretty lucky. That That is grounds for immediate damage, as uh, the law says. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is gonna be a rough one, isn't it? Okay, there is my shop. I am just trying to keep enemies away from me as much as possible, and I will say that... The build is capable of doing that, I don't really need to move that much. There is the 4.5 volt, which... Isn't terrible, but doesn't really work too well with this item. Also, since I just lost Deadeye anyway, this is kind of what it looks like when I shoot regularly. And it just looks a little odd. 4.5 volt, it's, it works sometimes. It, it, it kind of depends on what the rest of your build is, I suppose. But I'm not feeling it too much with this item. That is a pretty good replacement for what my current uh, item is, I'd say. Although I did just get five coins out of it, so fair enough. 
it is part of the bookworm transformation and it just gave me a key that I can use right here for a black lipstick for more black hearts to appear. Don't fully know what that entails in terms of positive and negatives and such, but I don't think we're gonna get many black hearts with this character, so I think I will pass on it. I'm just gonna try it out. With this item, it doesn't really matter too much anyway, but ma mainly it just charges my item when I deal damage to the enemy, so... It is uh, preferable to do that, but, but sometimes it's it's just a little slow and other times it feels really, really strong, so... I don't know. We're gonna see how it feels today. I find it a little bit tricky to say for sure. And I will fight little Plum here in the hope of actually getting a health item or something like that, because right now it's not looking great. It's not looking too good. So far we've taken one and a half hearts of damage in the basement. One through a pill, which you could argue was my fault as well, but yeah, not loving that. I don't think I'll take my devil deal because I feel like it's almost certainly not going to be worth it. I think my super secret room is over here, which I'm just going to take over. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> At least because we didn't actually enter our devil deal, it's going to mean we are going to get an angel room later. So that is lovely. There's a golden chest over there, which could be good. We did get a health up from the previous boss, so that's also kind of nice. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about eye drops with this item if I miss both of my tears, because it does remove dead eye instantly. If I hit with just one, that's enough, but I really do need to hit with uh, at least one, though. <laughs> that is a pretty important part of it. But yeah, genuinely not sure if we're going to end up with more items or less with that 4.5 volt. It does seem to charge pretty quick against bosses in particular, which I don't know if that's more of a coincidence thing. Can you calm down? Jeez. That was not great. Not a great experience. And I kind of want to have one of these bombs explode near the top wall. That... Mm. I don't know about that. That might have been close enough. Okay, never mind. It wasn't going to be there, probably. Uh, I might have actually been on the bottom wall. Nope, never mind. It's probably here. But at least we found our item room. There is the Mega Beam. Which... Uh, it does open... Uh, it does open secret rooms, so fair enough. Provided I probably wasn't so close to the wall there. But I think I'm going to stick with the Icon of Sin, because I kind of want to get more consumables right now. That seems more important to me than uh, whatever else it is going to offer me. I am at least hitting my shots again, so that's kind of good. I'm a little concerned about one of these becoming a skeleton, but so far they're playing very nicely. Yep, there you go. I immediately let my guard down and look at where it took me. I have a chance of this being a... Uh, bad trip pill, so I will just wait a second. But I would love just a little bit more health. If I am being real. And I am. A real, real person. There... Mm, nah. Because this is also a pretty good place for a secret room. <laughs> There's a lot of good contenders on this floor, but... That's not really what I'm looking for. That is not a bad item if we're gonna get more devil deals, but... It's going to at least be a second before we're going to get a Devil Deal. I will take this. We got a Sun card, which is not too bad. It's not going to heal our Red Hearts because we, we don't have any, but... It is at least going to give us a map for a floor. It isn't a pill, so we're not going to take damage from it, which is also kind of good. And let's see what kind of boss we're dealing with. We're dealing with Pestilence, who's going to give us a... Uh, Orbital at least, so that's going to make life a little safer. I do need to be careful of those white tears. It's the champion version again who shoots the many spiders, which I don't mind too much as long as you keep your distance. It's usually okay. And he dropped a soul heart, which is lovely. We get an angel room immediately. I'm not going to fight the angel because we're not going there. <laughs> eh, this blocks you. This blocks tears, I guess. It's fine. It's not the best. It's not terrible, technically. I could take those four coins, and I don't hate that idea, but let's see. 
Oh, come on. I have no way to get there currently. And somehow my item got charged when that spider walked into the flames, which surprises me because that doesn't seem right. Um, yeah, if I can just get like a hangman card or something. There is a bunch of chests on this floor, but I don't know if I can reach really any of them without trouble. Because at least one of them requires a challenge room and another one also requires flight, which is not great. There is a soul heart in this room, which I don't know if I can reach. I don't think I can. Really, this uh, flight would just really make my life a lot better right now. I think I can get fate out of a gold chest, technically. That would do it. Let's take this. There is a gold chest I can get over there by bombing my way there, but let's see what the rest of this floor holds. Uh, please work with me. Just go up. Thank you. I do not want to leave the middle of this arena. It becomes too much of a hassle the moment I start trying to be fancy with it. I just want to stay alive. We got half a soul heart out of Larry there, so that's kind of nice of him, I suppose. And one more bomb. Well, at least we can somewhat safely go to that one golden chest. We can do our challenge room. Which works, I suppose. Very good. Got our bomb back and only had to spend one key and a bomb. So, pretty great. If I still had the poop, which I think I left on the previous floor, then I would have been able to use that to make a bridge towards that soul heart. Unfortunately, Left it on the previous floor, so that is no longer an option. So instead, let's just get a few more consumables, hopefully with our Book of Sins. Never mind, we have stopped charging the item until the wave was over, at least. It's, I started charging again now. But it did take a second there before it actually started again. So, provided I aim the shield right, I won't take damage from tears, at least, so... Just gotta do that for the rest of this run. I'm feeling pretty confident that that's definitely going to happen. Our golden chests have been pretty terrible, but there might be a super secret room next to the shop over there, and hopefully that's gonna work out. I could blow up these flames <laughs> to maybe get some more health as well. Uh, that's how it goes sometimes. Occasionally, I do have to play the game, and it, so far in this series, that is a rare sight. I, I suppose when I started the run with, I'm not going to fight angels, I'm simply going to try to do the thing I intend to do. The game heard it and uh, decided to make my life a little bit more difficult because of it, which I can respect personally. I don't think I can create a bridge out of this with the angles that I have available. So if there is a way, uh, my apologies, I did not know of it. I will just grab this actually. That's gonna create a bridge, so I can grab these coins right there. I assume the super secret room is over here. And it is. There is one beggar who I'm tempted to give money to, but... It is kind of cutting it close with 13 coins. It's a lot better when I have 21. Alright, fair enough. Usually it takes six coins on hard difficulty before he starts paying out at all, and he gave me the black bean. Very good. It's exactly the thing I was hoping for and not more health. This is actually better. <laughs> it's fine. We, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Just need to play a little carefully for the most part. Where am I trying to go? There, <laughs> there's a closed door there. I don't need to do that room. Uh, this is a little bit fiddly. Just need to make sure they don't dash into me, but other than that, we have made some space here, so that is nice. And usually they only dash every now and then, so provided that they keep that up, I'm not too scared. I could get that with a bomb. I don't need it right now, but I could do that by just shoving a bomb in that direction. Yeah, definitely tempted, but if I get some sort of flight once again, I, I think I'd rather aim for that instead. I might put a couple coins in my donation machine as well. That's probably worthwhile. There's a tiny battery there, which is really the main thing I don't really care for right now in terms of things I can get from this item. Because it mostly just means I wasted the item. That's soy milk, which is fun, but I kind of need to hit my tears 
Mm, soy milk is fun though. I do like fun. But if I find Book of Belial, then this actually becomes pretty great. Plus my damage just get going up that way. Uh, yeah, I don't care for fun today. I, I have days where I like to have fun and I have days like this where I just want to make it to the end. So let's just go simple damage. Nothing too complicated, no fancy tricks. A simple run to the cathedral. And then I'm gonna relax and have a good, good weekend. That's the plan right now. There is plenty of rocks. I still haven't seen a tinted rock, but perhaps I haven't been looking closely enough at things which might be super special rocks, I suppose. But again, I have at least looked into these super special rocks a bit more to be able to tell which rocks could possibly be super special rocks, but... Well, one, I just simply forgot uh, which one was which, so I, I, uh, I do need to actually recheck that at some point. And, and for two, it's still just very difficult to see, even if you do know what you're trying to look at. And I was pretty lucky for the shell game, so I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm feeling pretty good about my winnings there. I think my shield does protect me against these bones as well, so that's actually not too terrible. Makes the fights against the skeletons a little bit easier if I can just stand in front of them. As you can probably understand, and this room is just a matter of actually getting a black heart for my Book of Sins. I'm genuinely surprised. I, uh, in the previous run, I actually sort of checked if I got a black heart as this character, and to my knowledge, I didn't. So I genuinely was like, can, can you get black hearts <laughs> as the blue baby, or is it really just blue? But it is possible to get a black heart at least through the means of the Book of Seven Sins, or whatever it's called. So, you know, in a way, I've learned something, arguably. Something that I probably already knew, but... Eh, it's still called a learning experience. Our health is slowly but surely raising up a bit while I'm playing the most careful game of Isaac the world has ever seen. And, uh, yeah, don't mind it. I'm feeling good about my super secret room being here as well. And... As long as I just keep hitting, I'm not scared. I still haven't really paid attention to whether or not the item charge is, like, quick or not with this item. Yeah, look at that. It's one of them rooms. This is tempting. I'll play this twice. Yeah, there you go. Why twice? <laughs> exactly. That's my secret right there. Mostly in the hopes of just quickly getting a soul heart or the like. Or perhaps a crystal ball, that would have been nice too. Another black heart, really. But also, 15 coins is a nice amount to enter your shop with, so... Seems like a pretty good idea. One makes me larger, puts us back to normal. Pretty great. 15 coins for 5 bombs. Tempting! In someone's eyes, probably. That is a jammed donation machine, so that's all we're going to get out of that. And that is a little bit more Devil Deal and Angel Room chance. The Devil Deal is a little bit more tempting now, because we're not really going to get anything for not taking it. I will actually enter my curse room as well. Just for fun. Because what if... The secret room's over here. Yeah, okay, I probably should have checked that before going in it like that, but I didn't. And I have no regrets. I actually... I think it might be above my arcade room or something like that. I don't think that it's near this room. Because I feel like spikes would count as an obstacle to stop you from going into the secret room. I will also just do this thing I said I was possibly going to do. It doesn't work great, but it, it, the coin got there, so it worked good enough. Three more coins, and with that, I can safely go to the next floor if I so desire. And that's more or less everything I can do on this floor anyway, so let us fight the boss, and then move on. It is Bambino. I have ten coins and not twelve, so we have to fight this boss regularly, unfortunately. Uh, that and I argue I don't have the health to do, uh, to drop twelve coins for him. I don't love that idea anyway. I uh, need to watch for shadows for the most part, but if he just keeps doing that attack, I do not mind. <laughs> that is not a bad deal. Get the lipstick, which 
Uh, soul heart dropped. I don't know if that soul heart dropped from the poop, but I will take it. And that is just a really nice gift to get. Where are we at this point? I genuinely have not been paying very close attention. We're in depths one. We have no map. I was actually kind of tempted to use my uh, sun cart there, but we don't have a map, and I guess not. Am I getting charges for taking damage as well? I actually wasn't sure about that, but I think my book charged the moment I took damage there rather than the damage I actually dealt. Which is a pretty important point of the 4.5 volts thing, I suppose. There's a card there, which once again I forgot to try and quickly read what it was. There is my first ever tinted rock for two keys. I could use one of those keys to get my bomb back, I suppose, and then it would still be a overall win. But for the most part, we're just going to mosey along through this floor and try not to take too much damage from random things. Have we gotten a speed up at all? I don't know if this is my default speed, actually, but it might be. I feel like I haven't been getting too much speed up in any case. So I'm going to say it's likely. I don't... I never really love this shield because I never really feel too safe with it in my hands. It always... Seems like things are gonna slightly hit me from the side or something like that. There's a health down pill, so that's good. Could go for that if we so desired. I can just, you know, hold the button here. I'm feeling good enough about not ever hitting these enemies. <laughs> not for any particular reason either. I just, just clearly not hitting them. Uh huh. Big room. The bottom seems pretty empty compared to the top. So overall, that worked out. And the rest is just a matter of clearing it out. Not too familiar with this room, actually. I don't think I've seen it before. Mm, don't like that. Don't like this. It's a little bit too many quick things to look at at the same time. Makes me feel nervous. I could look for my shop first for a number of reasons. So I think I will actually just do that. The boss room is right there, and I do need to remember that. I can also just get hit by every single thing under the sun. Just to make sure life is just slightly more difficult for myself. It's not the best idea I've ever had, but... Uh, you know. That's where the sentence ends, unfortunately. Uh, don't love this. I could just bot. I have a big shield. You know? It is quite frankly unlikely. That if I just try, that these tears are really going to do anything. But instead, I'm opting not to use my shield ever because I'm not just trying to shoot randomly. The only way for me to look up is by shooting. Which uh, is an unfortunate consequence of this build. At least we got our Devil Deal chance and Angel Room chance up right there. We got a item room and a shop waiting for us right in front of us. And we get a f regular battery. Very good. Let's try that again. We got a soul heart. That is actually pretty good. Overall, acceptable. Come on. There we go. I have a very itchy nose during this run. It's very distracting. Could take this. It's not too bad. Yeah, why not? I feel confident enough that we're not going to get... Another shop without greed in it, so might as well spend my coins there. There is the TNT, which uh, we could use to just put down a destructible barrel to open up our secret room from the bottom and then head on outwards. Probably not the worst item in the world, but I don't love it either. I uh, definitely want to just get keep trying to get those soul hearts instead and in the occasional black heart as well. And, uh, yeah, ghosts. Ghosts are fun. I will just keep looking for tinted rocks as well, I think. That's more or less the main thing I'm looking for at this point. Anything that will give me more health is, seems like a worthwhile thing to go for currently. This is an awful room. I mean, those magnets do stop eventually because they're the cracked magnets, so... Makes shooting a little bit easier, but... Ugh. <laughs> it's fiddly is what it is. I don't care for it. Mm hmm Yep. Yeah. Seems like a room where it's very easy to take damage, but we made it through. Ah, yeah, that was somewhat avoidable. <laughs> ah, it's 
a tricky one. Ooh, 10 coins. It just became tempting to go into my... <laughs> God. They just didn't want to leave the middle there. They decided to just converge on the button. Which is unfortunate. But yeah, it's, it's become a little tempting to go to my shop on the next floor at least. So that could be good. And instead, with more health, I will just leave this floor with less health, I think. That seems like a pretty good idea. I could bomb some skulls for something good, maybe. Moon and High Priestess card. And we're still on the uh, Depths 1, so I could just use this High Priestess on the boss at least, then go back for that Sun card, provided I remember. It's further away than I thought it was, but it's right here. That's Bloat, which I don't mind to use that card on. Yep, perfect. That one makes you larger. Number two, there is a health up here, which is not too bad. There is higher chance to find soul hearts, which is not too bad. I'm going to blow up these three flames for nothing. Could have been a soul heart in there, but there wasn't. Uh, just be a little bit larger. Unfortunately... Uh, we still need a little bit more large before we can truly become stompy. And I have forgotten where my sun card is, but I think it's just miles to the left. I'm also slightly tempted by that health down, because it does become a health up when you're at one heart container. And that isn't terrible, it's just that I need to diagonally cross spikes to even grab it, which... I'm good enough at, but not... Like amazing or anything. All right, depths two. Our health is five. We can get a map. You know what? I'm feeling it. We now know where our secret room is, and since my bomb count is zero, due to the uh, somewhat lackluster amount of bombs we've been getting during this run, I don't really want to waste them. I might still waste them when looking for my super secret room, and arguably it might have been better to save that sun card for something like the cathedral or the womb. But I'm not going to worry about it. Instead, I'm just going to do my best with the cards that I have used. Plus we get a lover's card, which could be good if we find a dark bum in our item room. Specifically for that situation. Ah, uh, god, I don't like having to aim, because I become very quiet. The mystery sack is giving me soul hearts from time to time as well, which is nice. But yeah, I find it very difficult to try and play this game well <laughs> while talking at the same time. It's a tricky combination of events, uh, because it's just a lot. So every time I'm actually trying to aim for something, I become incredibly quiet, and I'm, it, it's just one of those self-consciousness things, I suppose. But... I don't love it. Uh, yeah. So many of these, I thought there was significantly less. I thought it was like three, but it was four. Which isn't that significant in the grand scheme of things, I suppose, but it, it did seem like a lot more at the time. Another lover's card. Good, good, good. That is the kind of uh, hearts that I'm looking for. Red ones. Very capable of picking those up. Pretty happy about that. There is a shop here with uh, half a soul heart in the fire next to it, so that's good. No greed. And I blew up a shopkeeper and then immediately thought, hmm, should have gone into my secret room <laughs> instead. But I can get that ladder. And if there's any item I like to forget that I have, it is the ladder. So that is going to work out in my favor, I do believe. There might be a bomb item in here to give me five bombs or piercing. And this is the speed up as well, which I don't mind too much. Plus piercing with dead eyes, it can be pretty good. So let's go find a bomb somewhere and go into our secret room. Good room. I love rooms with one damage spikes. They make me feel happy to go back through them afterwards, after all. At least there was a black heart in this room, so I'm pretty lucky about that. Yep. <laughs> uh, you know how you beat that room? By just walking in circles. There's no reason to play it <laughs> like I did. Let's try that again. Let's see if we can do it this time around. Also, if I take damage now, it's gonna get rid of my black heart and it'll just clear the room as well, so... Really, this, this room has become more or less unlosable, but I have found a way to waste time in it. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. 
Oh, there's Envy next to his friends, the large quantity of exploding barrels. Classic friends of Envy, after all. At least with piercing, again, this is not too bad. Most of these tiers end up hitting multiple parts of Envy while they're splitting, and it just ends up clearing the fight a little bit quicker that way. Slightly scared of that bomb, but not too scared. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yep. Magnets in the middle. Makes for great poop movement. Very predictable. Does, do they even get affected by it? Not sure. I mean, they're just running into spikes there, so it's uh, not unlikely, I suppose. Two hearts, very good. Only heals red hearts. So far, that's... I believe that is three red heart healing items in a row, so <laughs> pretty happy about that. Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty great. Let's go to the secret room. I could go into the curse room again, but I haven't really... I haven't really been great, have they? I'm gonna just... Do this as well. Just one of these and one of those. I was expecting to just immediately get bombs from that. If I had flight, I could get 99 coins or 99 keys, or rather, which uh, would go nicely with the 11 that we currently have, or which are more or less unusable. So, pretty good secret room item that I actually cannot even get. So, overall, a little disappointed. But not like extremely. So, you yeah, know, whatever. Acceptable levels. And on we go. It's just a nice little voyage through the... Um, probably the worst recorded run on this uh, particular playthrough, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, I haven't died yet, so... I shouldn't be too unhappy about it. But... When a run... When, when you get the amount of nonsense that I've been getting during these recorded runs, and you suddenly get a run where you actually have to think and like play and strategize and stuff. It's a very different experience. <laughs> it's a very, very different experience. Uh, not sure where my super secret room would be, but I don't have bombs, and I don't really have a way to get bombs either outside of maybe my curse room, I suppose. What was the reason that I didn't get this gray chest? Oh, because I forgot I had a ladder, that's right. <laughs> I, I kind of figured, but yeah, there we go. Let us go. How long is it? 29 minutes, jeez. Which is not too surprising, I suppose, but... Fair enough. I'm just gonna run in circles there for a minute. Try not to get hit by eyes and... Yeah. That is the perfect tier rate for this boss. To be able to hit her at least once and then attempt to shoot her again and fail. Maybe if I, like, preemptively shoot. Yeah, that does work. It's gonna take a minute, though. <laughs> Is there a tinted rock in this room? I mean, I have enough time to look. Eh, yeah, we're getting through it. Nothing to worry about. If there is a tinted rock, I will have to use Mom's foot to actually destroy it as well. Unless I get a bomb from my Book of Sins, I suppose. I'd call that a little unlikely, though. Uh, given the many, many lover's cards I'm <laughs> instead getting out of this book. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. At least as long as I actually remember to play the game. Which, I do tend to lose focus during fights like these. But as long as I just keep doing stuff like that, we should be okay. It's, it's just a matter of, of keeping concentration and ignoring my strangely itchy nose. And seeing that curse of the blind and thinking, oh, I do hope I get a devil deal now. <laughs> I want to just suddenly waste three hearts on, like, Guppy's hairball. That, that would really be the dream. I can't tell if this rock is tinted because my map is in the way. It looks like it, but I don't think it is. Yeah. Hard to say. I have two coins, zero bombs. If I could blow you up, I would consider it because I do have the ladder required to get to that. I just, I need some bombs, really. It's just, I just need some amount of bombs that's not zero. Look at me being able to just step on gaps. Suddenly remembering the best item that I've ever bought. I don't know how many coins I need to give to the charge baby to get stuff from him. And I don't know what the minimum amount is to get a item to drop. I do know that I probably should have dodged those tears when they were coming towards me, but that's more of a hindsight thing at this point. Whereas the other things, I'm trying to predict the future. It's very different, you see. 
We do have four coins. But I don't... I, I've gotten items from those babies so very rarely that... Oh my goodness. <laughs> I need to actually stop with those hands though. Like, that's just getting ridiculous. That shouldn't fail that many times. <laughs> uh, rare that I even get grabbed by hands at all. Let alone multiple times in one run. But here we are. I found a way. There we go. Ooh, that was close. That was way too close, but worked out. Worked out. Two lusts. Very good. Love having this boss when my damage is not so great. Oh my god. There is a tinted rock in this room at least, but I don't have bombs. I can see forever. Where is my secret room? Not over here. Then I don't know. But I have a tinted rock on this floor, and I have a secret room that just opened, so at least there's that. Rooms like this are pretty nice, at least. Like, once once the piercing actually does something, it is pretty great. But it is a, it is a pretty big question whether or not that's going to happen. Ah, oh, with this many coins, I'm tempted to play the... There, at least. I could also still open the golden chest here. And I could moon card out if needed. <laughs> Alright. Alright, that's not terrible. And that's also not terrible. Two pretty good Curse of the Blind items that were both not Cursed Eye. Which I'm not sure if you can get out of a golden chest, actually. But I wouldn't be surprised. This boss is also not too bad with Piercing Tears. This boss... I don't love as much. <laughs> I don't love this one as much with Piercing Tears, because a lot of this boss usually is just... Um, keeping them away from you, and I feel like Piercing Tears are a little bit weird with that. But it worked out. We have a Magician's card over there. Which I could use, but I'm not really... Magician with Tears just isn't that exciting. This... Um... If I blow this up, I can grab both of those. So that's probably worthwhile. Because I don't think I can grab those in any, any other way unless I get flight somewhere. Which I might. Yep, very good. There's a curse room next to my secret room, so I can just... Uh, I don't need to bomb my way in there, actually. I can just walk my way in there. Which I'd say is probably the better option. Yes, look at this very good secret room. It gives me some charge for my item. And that is what I want from a secret room. I'm just gonna blow this up. <laughs> Let's not waste any more time on this. Use our ladder to our maximum capacity. Grab this without running into spikes by accident. And just take the most... Uh, straightforward route to the next floor. I somehow managed to miss multiple shots on a red poop. That does not bode well, does it? <laughs> it's probably fine. Also the... Oh god, you got very close there. The shield is pretty good in the uh, the boss fight in the cathedral at least, so... That, that could be pretty good. That's two more troll bombs. That's not so good. Sacrifice room with a bunch of nothing in it. I can just walk forward through this room at least. And fighting Loki with the two eyes. Health down. Once again, that is kind of tempting just as like a last resort safety measure. As it is technically one extra heart if I use it at the right time. But it's not the best, is it? It's not exactly something you're really screaming about. That is a devil deal, as as foretold, and Mr. Squeezy. And yeah, that's exactly what that was going to look like. <laughs> I'm not even going to do it. Um, Keep the moon card, I think. If I get into a particularly dangerous room, it's probably better to just teleport out. And uh, make it regularly. Look at how much damage we're dealing when we're not... Charged up with our uh, dead eye as well. It takes two shots to destroy these poops. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh, card against humanity. I mean, that is fun. Not with this build, but it is. It is an item. I'm tempted actually to just actually take that instead of the moon card because that can give you a couple of soul hearts if you're lucky. Uh, so depending on how this floor goes, I think I'll just use the moon card somewhere so I can save that last bomb. 
and then go to the cathedral with the jeez <laughs> go to the cathedral yeah just use it here go to the cathedral with the card against humanity is probably not the worst idea this is a floor as well uh, alternatively I could just use it on this floor if I take enough damage from random nonsense <laughs> uh, many good ideas to be had here but I do need to go back a little bit to actually oh god pins to get that card against humanity like right here wasn't it yeah also I just didn't pick that up huh I'm making strange choices but it makes it more exciting because of variety I have 16 keys, 3 bombs, a good balance. I'm guessing these are just regular hands, but... Yep. 4 of them, in fact. And... Well, since I have 15 keys anyway, I will just take those soul hearts. What a great deal! Yeah, I'm probably gonna just keep this card against humanity for the... Uh, Cathedral, I guess. So far, pretty fun floor. Multiple choices about what is a good way to go, and they're all terrible. I think I would have to just go to the right to continue, probably, because there's only so many rooms in a floor. I feel like this is probably going to be a dead end, but the fact that... Yeah, it's not looking too good. Another soul heart just for free. An arcade room with a bunch of nonsense in it. I could play the shell game for a little bit to get some progress in that. This run's been going on for a year anyway, so might as well make it a little bit longer with... What you can only argue is the best mini game in the game. Sometimes you win, and sun suddenly flies aren't so bad anymore. Which, arguably, isn't the most noticeable thing for this particular run, but, you know... Alternatively, I could just lose consecutively. <laughs> uh, you have to play this one a hundred times before you get the unlock for whatever. It, it, it unlocks something. I don't recall what it is. But playing this thing a hundred times does take a minute, and at least you can do it over multiple runs. I don't know if there's something similar for the other... Um, slot machines and such. There is one for using the blood donation machine like 20 times or something like that, but that's pretty quick. And there is just more builds that allow themselves to go for that, plus you have more things to gain out of it as well, so it's like... It's pretty... There's reasons to go for that. This, on the other hand, it's just largely tedious. <laughs> But we did manage to find Wrath and thus confirming that this was the wrong direction to go in. We get Mr. Boom, which I'm just going to take, actually. You know what? I'm done with the Book of Sins. I'm now a Bomberman instead. And with the uh, battery that we have, perhaps we can occasionally just throw a bunch of bombs out. It is charging pretty quickly, actually. This is a room. It's a nice little variant of the standard spinning spiky things room so you know it's uh keeps it interesting keeps it fresh this on the other hand don't care for it this is not a fun room even with the ladder which would take me to that other platform even if you give me many soul hearts so i can check out my cursed room and make myself small i, can see. I suppose the i can see forever pill makes it a little bit more tempting but overall i'd rate this one a solid seven out of ten at best it's just not that great but let's see if our super secret room is somewhere over here. Could be here, I suppose, and it is. Would you look at that? Get him, bomb. I got one of them. That's pretty good. And the other one was already damaged, so it worked out. <laughs> Six red hearts. If I was playing a red heart character, this build would probably not be that much different. I've seen like one health up in total during this run, I guess. So all in all, this run is more or less equally cursed as the other blue baby runs, just in a slightly different flavor, which is a nice change, I suppose. But that does bring us to the it lives fight. I'm just gonna chill here. I have a shield that should more or less protect me from most of the dangers. Plus if I just keep looking at mom, her tears aren't really gonna go that far either. It's just gonna be the brimstone attack that's gonna be a bit of an issue here. 
Nope, didn't actually use it. All right. Didn't get a devil deal either. Perfect. Let's go up to the cathedral with the blue baby. I've managed to go in the right direction. <laughs> I've managed to do that thing that I said I wanted to do for the last two blue baby runs. And immediately we're fighting the most fun of enemies. I suppose the most fun of enemies is the shield enemies which show up, I think, occasionally here as well. But I'd argue that that enemy is pretty great too. It spawns a little tear babies there and it's just a frustrating adventure all altogether. But for the most part, I'm sure we'll make it through. If we just don't miss, then we have some damage. I don't think I regret not taking soy milk. I genuinely don't think I would have survived it. <laughs> Occasionally the negative is going to kill things as well, which is wonderful. We have a room to use the... Just kill this before it shoots a bunch of beams. I failed. We have a big room to use the cards against humanity in, so I could do that to get some more health as well. I can use my bomb here to more or less inst instantly kill that enemy, so that's pretty good as well. All in all, feeling pretty good. Let's just actually use it here so I don't forget, so at least you have an idea what it looks like. If you, I believe if you have Midas's touch, you do occasionally get golden poops as well. And that makes it pretty great, honestly. You do actually get so much money out of it that way. And you, If you have like a d20 or something like that, you can do some wild stuff if you so desire. Instead, uh, I'm kind of hoping to see a poop trinket, so most of these things are going to pay out more than just coins. I was kind of hoping to maybe get like a soul heart out of this, but unfortunately... Uh, <laughs> Or not. We got an eternal heart at least, so that kind of counts as a soul heart, I suppose. I think it's one extra hit if it goes all the way down there, but I'm not sure how exactly it works with Blue Baby. But I, I will say that a poop trinket wouldn't have been terrible. There's the soul heart that I was hoping for. And it may seem like a little bit unnecessary to play it this safe at this point in the run. Like, I almost have full health, so why bother? Clearing out an entire room of poop this way, and really the main reason is to just show off the uh, the card, really, because I hadn't used one before in this playthrough, so I figured I might as well. But also, I'd rather just be safe than sorry, and this run has been a bit precarious. Uh, there is the petrified poop that I was looking for, so hopefully suddenly we get a whole bunch more things. <laughs> suddenly everything's a lot better. There's multiple swords in the room now. And that was that actually our first trinket of this run, because... I didn't have another one. But look at that. Suddenly this room is filled with soul hearts, and that does make it very nice, very safe. This is a room that is made a lot easier with the uh, tier blocking shield. So actually, so far, shouldn't have been so negative about it. There's a steam cell. Pretty good at this point in the run, since we're not going to find any more shops. But, you know, it's, it's good to get a steam cell from time to time. It makes you feel like you're still alive. It could be a super secret room here, actually. Eh. I don't know what the odds of that would have been. I don't know if it's even possible for it to be that are this close to the starting room, because I think that was the starting room, wasn't it? The one we uh, just left <laughs> after we cleared out more or less half of the floor. I don't know if that's accurate. I don't remember anymore. I don't remember anything. All I remember is my goal. And so far we are going in the right direction for that specific thing. Yeah, I'd, I'd argue that this 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 shield is probably blocked more than I'm even giving it credit. It, it's doing a pretty damn good job. I could technically go do this. This is I do still need to go to the land with this character as well. Right, I had plans for that, but something happened last time. I <laughs> considered going to the land in the, uh, the the classic chance of let's see if uh, the door opens. And oh yeah, it's the first time we killed Hush. But anyway, here is the Isaac fight. We have a flashlight and a shield, so most of the tiers are not going to go into our direction and as such, not too scary. There is the thing to consider, which is the beams of light, which I do need to dodge at least a little bit. They used to be a little bit trickier to dodge on the one hand because you couldn't really tell where they were going to spawn. But on the, other, on the other hand, you could just stay in certain corners throughout the entire fight. And uh, that would work more or less every time. But I mean, these days you don't really need to worry about it too much, I suppose. 
But I think, given how this fight is going so far, we might have a decent chance of winning here. Not sure why I'm not using my bomb, but I'm not going to question it either. And let's just clear out the rest of this floor for fun. We have been playing this for a bit, but why not clear out the remainder of what we have left here? Just going to place a bomb here, just in case. I'm going to kill this enemy right next to that wall. I don't know if that would have been close enough to open up this secret room, but I'm just going to assume it's probably not there. I'm just going to bomb a couple places, maybe find a super secret room somewhere along the line. Since we still have some bombs remaining after all, we managed to end up with a decent amount of consumables, which is ultimately somewhat irrelevant, I suppose, but it's still kind of nice. Eh? Makes me feel good. And I think if that enemy actually throws a tinted rock at you, you still get the rewards out of it as well, so... Could have waited for that, I suppose, but... Ultimately, not necessary. We get a golden key. We no longer need to worry about keys on this floor. Pretty great. But I think for the most part, that's probably it there. Let's see if we can find our secret room. Maybe find a secret room item that we haven't picked up yet. It is greed, again. Pretty great. And just a bunch of coins. Well, it's been good. I finally managed to go to the cathedral as the blue baby. I have won the run as well. Provided I don't blow myself up ten times or kill myself with this machine in some way. Technically possible. Debatably, this uh, key beggar could give me the one thing required to end the run somehow. There probably is some item in here that could ruin my day and I'm excited to try and figure out what it is. Instead, this uh, key beggar is just not going to give us that much. There we go, Lord of the Flies. Technically, I could probably blow myself up with that if I do it enough. So, all in all, there you go. That's exactly... I guess I could have just used a sacrifice room to kill myself if I really wanted to, but... You know what? And that is technically an ending. We now hold the D6 as Isaac when we start a new run, as it says here on this stat screen. So now it is a little bit more tempting to pick Isaac because his starting item is incredible. So that might be the next run, but for now, I hope you've all enjoyed it. We have actually managed to clear the cathedral for the first time. Only four more times to go, I think, to unlock the Polaroid to move on in that direction, which... Uh, will happen eventually, I suppose. It's kind of tedious that we still need to do that four more times before uh, we get that over with. But once we have that unlocked, we should probably have all the routes unlocked shortly afterwards. I think I need to beat Hush one more time for the new Repentance routes to start getting unlocked as well. And I do want to clear a little bit more of Greed Mob before going into that path, but we'll see that whenever it happens. For now, I hope you've all enjoyed it, and next time we play, I will play a run as a character in some kind of mode, and I hope to see you all there. Bye-bye.